Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Halloween baking edition of my fall baking series. I have a fantastic Halloween pumpkin festive brownie that is WW friendly, loaded with chewy, creamy caramel. And yes, it is WW friendly. So if you wanna see this special edition of my fall baking series, Halloween style, just stay tuned. For this year's Halloween baking series recipe, we are going to make an ooey, gooey, caramel brownie that is WW friendly. So let me show you what is in our caramel brownie. I'm going to be using this super cute pumpkin silicone mold that I got at TJ Maxx. It is so cute. So our brownies will have adorable little pumpkin faces on them. And then I'm gonna be using these Halloween colored jimmies and non perels and then that way we can decorate our brownies all cute for Halloween. And for our brownies, we're gonna be using the Pillsbury Sugar-Free Brownie Mix. We're gonna substitute unsweetened applesauce for the oil. We'll be using a little water. And then of course, we're going to need an egg. And for that ooey, gooey caramel brownie, we're gonna be using these Kraft Caramel Bits. We're not even gonna be using enough per brownie to count any points, but we're gonna add these in for that ooey, gooey caramel deliciousness. So let's get started on this year's Halloween baking series recipe. So for our brownies, I went ahead and emptied my package of the sugar-free brownie mix. To that, I'm going to add three tablespoons of water. I'm also going to add one egg and one third cup of unsweetened applesauce. And we are basically making our brownie mix per the package instructions. We're just substituting the applesauce in place of the oil. You can also use non-fat Greek yogurt in place of oil as well. So we're just gonna give this a quick stir together make sure everything gets nice and combined, and then we'll be ready to get these into that silicone mold, add our caramels, add our sprinkles, and get these brownies into the oven. So I went ahead and greased my mold with some nonstick cooking spray. What I'm going to do is in the bottom, I'm going to add some of my jimmies, and that's going to be on the face of the completed brownie pumpkin. So I'm literally just adding a few little jimmies to the bottom of my mold. These work best in baking. They don't seem to change color or get all weird like a lot of the candy uh, decorations do. The jimmies, in my opinion, work really well for baked goods. I know these non prels they'll get kind of slimy and lose their color where the jimmies don't. So I went ahead and just added a few to the bottom of my silicone mold. And then I'm going to add, with my medium-sized scoop, I bought these scoops off of Amazon. They come in a three pack for about $10. They are linked in my Amazon store. I don't know what I would do without these. I use them all the time. I am going to shoot for 12 brownies. So I want to just do one scoop in each of my six molds to start because I want to see how much I have left over. I want to make sure that I'm getting 12 brownies and that's how I'm going to calculate the points. So one level scoop per mold. So you can see here my mold is about halfway filled with the brownie mix. And then I have my craft caramels. Now you can have one tablespoon of these caramels for three smart points. So we don't want to have to add any extra points to our brownies from our caramels. So I'm literally going to dab five little caramels on the top of each of my brownies and that is not going to add any additional smart points to the completed brownie by putting the brownie mix and the caramels into the recipe builder this does not add any extra points yet we will get that yummy caramel gooiness right on top of our brownies so five little caramels per brownie and then our oven is preheating to 350 degrees and then we'll go ahead and we'll get our brownies into the oven. So there are our brownies. Look at how good those look, you guys, with those little caramels on there. So we're gonna put these in the oven at 350 degrees. I did 
put my silicone mold on a sheet pan. I think it makes it a little bit easier to pull these out of the oven that way. So I will pull these out and I'll be back to show you our completed brownies. And then we'll throw six more of these into the oven as well. Our brownies are out of the oven, you guys. These look so good. I'm gonna let them cool just long enough that I can pop them out of the mold. Look at that caramel, that ooey gooey caramel. And I'll flip them over and we'll show you what they look like and we'll refill our little mold for our last six brownies. So here they are. I do have to say the jimmies did not work so well on the bottom, but there's what the caramel side looks like. They'll still be really good. Unfortunately, the jimmies were a bit of a fail. So I think for fun, let's try the non and see if that makes a difference in baking. <laughs> I only got three brownies out of the rest of the batter so I did not do a very good job measuring so our brownies are actually going to be a little bit more points wise than we had originally thought but let me get these last three in the oven I'll be back to show you our completed brownies give you the smart points so here are our brownies they still look really good even though adding the candy at the bottom was a bit of a fail, they still turned out really, really good. Now you can add your non pareils or your jimmies right out of the oven where they're still really soft, but they won't dissolve into the cake batter. And then on the bottom, you can see our caramels, which looks so good. So with the recipe only making nine brownies, and adding the caramels, which did not add any points. Each of these brownies is four smart points. That is not bad because look at how thick these are and they have the caramel and everything and they are only four smart points. So happy Halloween, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Halloween baking series. Thank you for joining me on this special edition of my fall baking series, the Halloween edition. I hope you enjoyed seeing this recipe these brownies you guys are so incredibly delicious again if you just don't fill them as full as i did you'll be able to get 12 out of your batch but i'm okay spending an extra point for that thick literally one inch plus thick brownie with caramel so good so incredibly good and another little tip if you use the non pareils they seem to hold their color better than the jimmies did in the baking process or again you can put those on when you first pull them out of the oven when the batter of the brownie is still a little bit soft you can kind of press them in that way but regardless they were absolutely delicious i took them to my office my real estate office and everybody loved them could not believe that they were weight watchers friendly so again a four smart point caramel brownie ah perfect for your halloween festivities so if you're new to my channel i'd like to welcome you make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that bell that way you're notified every time i upload you don't want to miss a video i have fall baking coming your way here shortly for thanksgiving so don't miss out on that. Thumbs up this one and comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this brownie recipe. It was really good and really easy. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Happy Halloween.